The Miami Dolphins season has come to an end and it's been filled with great emotions for fans, and now we're in the midst of preparing for next season. It has been officially announced when Tua Tagovailoa will be the starter in 2023, and some other players will not stay with us like Mike Gesicki, he will not re-sign with the Dolphins. Prior to the arrival of Mike McDaniel, he had a franchise tag. Until McDaniel became head coach of the Miami Dolphins, Gesicki did not get to play as often as his close friend Durham Smythe. McDaniel's confusing decisions were a big reason why Gesicki didn't re-sign with the Dolphins. Two running back players, Salvon Ahmed and Miles Gaskin, are both unlikely to return. The Dolphins won't have a running back contract going into the pre-free agency contract season. We can assume that Jeff Wilson, Jr. will get a new deal and Raheem Mostert probably will too but other than that, Ahmed and Gaskin are both gone. Of the two, Ahmed has a higher chance of getting a contract from Miami but even that is slim. Ahmed was the free pick and Gaskin was the final pick. Gaskin has shown a lot of value to the team early in his career but that was under the previous regime. He and Ahmed have changed values heading into this season and Mike McDaniel has clearly seen his worth more with Ahmed. Byron Jones is an enigma at this point. The Dolphins need to be consistent in the secondary and when healthy, Jones is a very good lockdown cornerback but this year could have been a sign of internal issues that Miami may have to either dig out of or toss away. I'm not certain if Jones is done in Miami but he very well could be. The issue Miami will deal with is that Jones carries a big salary that they will need to eat, if Jones is not on the roster next season, barring a June 1st designation. He will cost Miami $14.8 million in dead money with a savings of only $3.5 million. Miami has dumped bigger contracts but this is a lot for a team that has little space to have to eat. If they get rid of him and designate him post-June 1st, Miami will save $13.8 million and eat $4 million in change. Miami would not get that money back until after June 1st so it frees spending space up that is delayed. What happened with Jones this year is anyone's guess at this point. He and Xavier Howard formed one of the best duos in the NFL last year but his decision to delay surgery on his Achilles didn't help and despite the fact he should have been back for training camp. He never made it back on the field the entire season.